Hi, my name is Yaya Sumarasuli, Senior Research Assistant at the University for Development Studies, Forensic Science Department, all the way from Ghana, West Africa, and I'm participating in this year's International Symposium on Human Identification, Raises Academic Challenge. And I'm making a case for policy action with regards to identification of a unknown and nameless dead bodies in Ghana. Um, the fundamental human rights of even the dead people is considered all over the world. And the sheer volume of unidentified dead body cases always pose significant challenges to nations that believe in the rudiments of fundamental human rights. In Ghana, almost any day, there is an issue of missing or unidentified bodies. And specific cases at the Ghana Police Service Mug can be seen on the screens as mass barriers are normally performed for such bodies basically because their relatives do not come for them. And this might not be their fault, basically because they might not even know that they are, they are, they are, they are family members are dead and are the police mob. And this has led to issues with regards to uh, release of, it has affected issues with regards to release of properties and also certain cultural values based on specific ethnic groups. Articles that were sorted towards the preparation of these uh, manuscripts were sorted or were retrieved from general databases, online news articles and institutional reports also considered real cases on the ground uh, from 2000 to 2002 while also looking at literature concerning international best practices on how issues of human identification are dealt with all towards the call for policy action in ghana um this uh, is a silent mass disaster and sooner or later, we need to tackle this from a philosophical viewpoint. Regardless of the limitations, there is a need for biometric legislature and also the establishment of DNA databases in Ghana. Also, uh, there should be a comprehensive roadmap for capacity building in forensic DNA technology in Ghana. And it is clear that Ghana is already lit in the aspect of using forensic DNA technology. However, if all stakeholders involved come together to ensure that uh, the application of forensic technologies in identifying anonymous and missing persons is prioritized, there will be progress in this uh, area of problem solving in Ghana, how we wait for evolution to take its course towards uh, improving it. Thank you.